of the oil. So I've got some, yeah, vintage speakers. There's a Aldax brand. These come from a vintage, um, I think it's early 70s Philco TV sets. They were just, yeah, circuit boards fried out because of the heat broke them down so much, they deteriorated. So they're just too far gone. But I did get the speakers out of them. Just doing some frequency tests. That's the other one. After the other time, another TV that was identical with the same uh, age problem. So yeah, I think those are probably probably late 60s. They're pretty good speakers for their age. Bit of over bass. Next track. Yeah. Got some dust rattling on it. It's like a resistor here that goes to ground. Never understood why they really did that. You know, it's dusty and old. On this one, Ordax. Oh, yeah, it's actually, that's Ordax. Bit of corks around. Alright, next track. Fan going there, keeping everything cool. Alright, I'll find a good track somewhere. Hang on, just pause the camera. Alright, viewers, same old track again. I'll turn it a little bit louder. 15. Yeah. It's just stored a little bit, they're not really made for bass, but yeah. They're not really made for bass, but everything else are okay. Alright, we'll pause this. I've got some heat spe uh, speakers that are more bassier. I don't know what brand they are, but it just says they're made in Belgium. I've got four and a set of tweeters, some of them two old Pi TVs that were scrapped, so I get them. Okay, the oils are these are Belgian made speakers, odd shape, but they damn sound good. Good bass for something out of a TV. They come with a matching set of tweeters, but I've got to find the right size capacitors for them. So yeah, let's try playback. It's the store so you turn the bass up too much on the car head unit. Oh, I don't know what brand these are though. Like. This says made in Belgium, that's it. Made in Belgium and a number on it. Bunch of other numbers. AD, 38, 983, 4 in Belgium. AD 045824. That must be some sort of model or catalog number or something. Got an actual circuit board material for the connection. Try the voice call here. Yeah. Goes straight to the voice call. Doesn't go straight to the kind of connected voice call. Oh, this is probably very little connected from the back here, but this is here. Yeah, so it's straight to the back and hooks them up that way. The ones at the back are um, older and they're a bit more tarnished, and these are slightly newer. They're shinier. Yeah. Old, um, yeah. One of those, um, a larger pie than most control model TV, so I'd say it'd probably be an 84, 85 model TV. But for a TV like that, to have a. Yeah, speakers like this is pretty good. Even nowadays, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> Almost as good as a big ass bit projection. Alright. I'd say the speakers demonstrated, but now I get some other ones I'll show you. Let's try some modern Chinese rear projection TV speakers, see how they hold up. Ok, 
Okay, we always got to skip your light. And they show you how these, yeah, chop and easy little chong ass speakers hold up. These are from an LG rear projection TV. They're all exactly the same. 8 ohms, 15 watt, max 25 watt. All identical. I left those intact on their um, plastic enclosure. These I didn't, because I didn't have one. Different model TV. But yeah, let's see how they hold up with bass. All tweeters are all hooked up as they are, as they were when they were in the TV. So. Ah, that actually sounds too bad. That was marked left, that was marked right. Yeah, the tweeters are working. Huh. Yeah, that's not, not too bad at all. There you go, viewers. If you ever come across a rear, um, rear projection TV and it's stuck, keep the speakers. There you go. <laughs> That's just a little bit too much. Hold the light properly here. Yeah, too much space. Then again, it doesn't help to have the equalizer flat out, but yeah. There you go. Alright. Got a couple more TV speakers I'll show you. Okay, we also got some Mitsubishi Stereo Square 66 model TV speakers. Uh, the name's 5 Watch Japan. Need a factory, factory cords that you use to connect them in the TV. Pretty handy, they've got little spade connectors and terminals on them. Just there, yeah, easy. That I know I've got to tighten down a bit, get the pliers and I'll fix that. Just squeeze up my hand. So yeah. They're pretty handy, and these ones here I got like a clip so they don't pull off, so they'll stay on. Yeah, these I've actually played bass through these. The voice calls bottom out like crazy, so they're not actually too bad if you play them properly. Let's try another track. What else have we got? Turn it down. You know what I mean? Like clapping. That's the voice called clapping on the back of the magnet. These are very, very easy susceptible to bass, but yeah. They move a considerable distance. They're not bad for TV speakers either. <laughs> Any TV you scrap or something, keep the speakers for this sort of purpose. Even cheap ones, just blow them. It's always fun. I did that to a pair of TCLs. Track like this, I lasted 10 seconds and the voice call was incinerated. <laughs> as if, it's like, almost like as if the factory um, lacquer wasn't set. Because it's not, it's not fresh still. The TV was virtually new when it was thrown out. It just a piece of crap. Even the speakers were. They did this sort of bash, 10 seconds, that's it. They blew up. They blew up. Always fun though. Would have, been, would have been good to get a video. Alright. Pause that. Let's see what other speakers I've got. Okay, viewers, I've got some generic DTC YDP 5090C, some stupid number. 16 ohm, 3 watt. These are just some cheap and nasty TV. Yeah. They look pretty bassy and head of design them. Let's try them on this track, see how long they last. Okay, they didn't go bang, but they don't like it. They don't move much at all. Okay, they look like they can handle it, but they're just pathetic. Exactly. Oh, it's not a voice call, it's a Oh, I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure, 
cars, yeah? That's what I get saying. Other than that, I've got small, small, the egg coming out of the horse floor and getting hot, but it's not hot enough to, um, to strap. Yeah, yeah. That'll do it another day. I got some more little compact monitor speakers. That'll be fun. I got I, I used to play them flat out through this. And the um magnetic shielded they're magnetically shielded by the way. And those magnetic shields used to get bloody hot. I had to set them on a um heat proof put board because they yeah, melted um bit of plastic on them at one stage. So I get them or we'll try them. They're only, I think they're only 0.25 watts too, so that'd be fun. Okay, of yours I was wrong. They're actually 2 watts, max 3 watt. Little crappy compact Presario speakers. Let's base these a bit. Well, they obviously sound like that's a bit crap. Oh yeah, they're hot. Pause that. Those die each is our next. Okay, the as well. Turns out that's a Samsung 8M3 lot. This must be just an aftermarket replacement. Taiwanese die each same 3 lot 8M. So whatever TV these come out of, that was original and that one has been replaced. So they're both matching, even though this one is just an aftermarket one. So, next track, just turn them up that way. You can see the fronts. Yeah. Turn it down. Next track. More exciting track. This one is bass electronics, I think it is. There we go. Got sweaty, slippery hands. A bit hot, so I gotta try and get a good grip on the camera and light. Yeah, I can't keep up with the treble. That sounds like crap. What other tracks have I got on here? Come on, light, stay, will ya? Bit of a skip in the CD, must be a bit of crap on it. Can't buy that song, copyright. That's copyright, can't buy that one. That's copyright, can't buy that one. Alright. All those songs are copyright ones for now on, so I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, find another bassy one I've got.